lot of big games over your career. Kind of where does this one compare? Top six team, Notre Dame, a lot of history there. It's going to be a great night in the Valley. It's definitely on top of my list with um, a lot of other games that I said I've been here, but I'm really looking forward to it, though. What's the biggest thing uh, for some of the younger guys to know from a veteran like yourself to kind of keep on an even keel with such a, such an atmosphere surrounding this? Uh, don't get involved with all the stuff on the outside. Just just go out and play play the game and do do what you're capable of. How eager, eager for you are you individually to really kind of take off and get an extended streak of game of good games going? You had a you know a great game against App State. Only had one catch in the last one in Louisville. How how eager are you to kind of get on a on a hot streak? Oh, I'm eager every Saturday to just get out and play. I'm uh, really looking forward to how the game goes and um, the atmosphere is gonna be crazy, but. Um, it's going to be fun playing with my teammates and um, having a successful Saturday. Are you feeling more comfortable with that other receiver spot? Or? Tony said yesterday that there was a conversation about maybe moving you back to your spot. Where, where have you been and how comfortable are you? Uh, I'm comfortable there. I've been, I've been playing there since my sophomore year, so it's nothing new to me. I just haven't been playing there in the games. So it's nothing new to me at all. Being a local guy, we're talking to all the other guys about taking requests. How's it been for you as far as taking requests for this game? Oh, it's been fine. I don't really. I got my I got my four people that I, that's always coming. If I get any extra, I get extra. But it's not really nothing I'm worried about right now. Notre Dame put a little more press man than first week up on the city face. Yeah, it definitely does because they're they're a bit more talented than most teams. So they're going to do a lot more press coverage, a lot more man. But it's nothing we haven't seen before. Are their corners physical? Do they try and knock you off the route? How do they play? Is it just hands? They try and knock you off the route. Uh, yeah, definitely. When you, once you do your release, they try to get their hands on you. But like I said, it's nothing new at all. Is there any one of those guys that kind of stands out to you? I mean, 6 and 36, they, they're both good corners. So they, they both stand out to me. Then the safeties are good, too. Jay Ron talked yesterday about this being a chippy game, lots of trash talk. Is that something you look forward to? Oh, I'm not much of a talker, as you can tell. but. <laughs> but I mean, actions speak louder than words, though, so I'm not worried about it. Do you have a personal preference as far as playing night games like this, or playing earlier in the day? I guess I like I like night games because it's like it reminds me of Friday nights. I guess. Is there something you guys can appreciate about the atmosphere, just sort of surrounding the game, the lead up, uh, the sort of feeling on campus and around town? Yeah, it's definitely fun, but I uh, can't get too much involved with it. We have a, um, such a good fan base. Like you see, the the Waffle game was just as packed, and it's no it's no telling what it's going to be like Saturday. How do you get these younger receivers ready for a game like this? Uh, you know, Ray Ray and Dion, it may seem more than this week. How can you help those guys? Um, I gotta be a, uh, make them accountable and make sure they know know their job. Because this this game is gonna have really uh, it's gonna be you can't really make any any errors in this game. There's so much talent on the field, you got to know what you're doing and be precise. He's been doing really good. He's been he's actually been playing like a veteran. I'm really I'm really proud of him. How he's been going.